As we all know, concrete is a very widely used construction material. Now, because it's widely used, there's a lot of issues that we have to understand about it. And the defects of concrete is one of these topics that is very vital for us to understand and appreciate. So the purpose of this video will be to go through some of the main defects that concrete members uh, experience. An outline of, of the video, I'm going to talk about the forms of defects that are common in concrete, and then we'll talk about the classification of these defects. So uh, concrete has several properties, so mechanical, physical, and chemical properties. These can be modified depending on certain factors. Now, these factors are related to the design of the mix, the way the concrete is poured on site. So it's important to pay attention to design aspects along with workmanship to ensure that the product that you end up with is one that has good durability. And that's why we're studying the defects in concrete. So there's various forms of defects in concrete, and you can see a list in front of you on the screen. Uh, the most common defect in concrete is cracking. Uh, you can also get crazing, spalling, scaling, discoloration of the concrete uh, element or member, honeycombing, efflorescence, and finally, the splitting of concrete. So we'll have a look at each of these in a second. Let's start with crazing. Now crazing is, as you can see in the image in front of you, it's a small fine network of cracks that you see on the surface of the concrete member. Um, it's very common and it's a, as a result of shrinkage of the surface, so you can think of, of it as contraction of the surface. The surface loses uh, a bit of its water uh, and in the process uh, it contracts a bit and this is what you end up with, this small network of, of cracks. Now, mostly on a construction site, crazing is a result of poor curing of the concrete. So you've got to make sure that you cure the concrete in the proper fashion in order to ensure that you don't face uh, this issue. Moving on to the second defect form, and that is spalling. And it's what you see in front of you in the image. This is where the concrete sort of snaps bits of concrete, they start to flake. And this can be due to a weathering action, um, but mostly it's due to the expansion of the concrete itself. And the reason that it expands is because uh, in most cases spalling happens when the uh, reinforcement corrodes. Now when the reinforcement corrodes, the resulting product, i.e. rust that's produced, has a large volume. And that large volume causes the concrete to expand. And as such, you get pieces of concrete that start to flake off the concrete element or member. Um, another common cause of spalling is freezing and thawing of, of, of water in cold climates. So that cycle that happens when you know water freezes inside the uh, concrete, we know that concrete contains moisture. So when that moisture freezes and then it melts and freezes again, all of that cr creates some sort of an expansion. Um, and it causes parts of the concrete to flake off. Scaling is similar to spalling, however, it's more at a local level. Um, this happens when there is loss of the surface mortar, and it's again due to the expansion of water uh, that takes place when there's sort of freezing and thawing happening in cold climates. Now, another concrete defect is honeycombing that you visibly see in a lot of concrete members and it's visible in the image that you see in front of you. This is where there's a failure of the mortar to fill in the space between the coarse aggregates and it leads to these voids that you can see in the image in front of you. Um, most common causes of honeycombing in concrete members are due to poor compaction, so uh, the uh, concrete, while it's poured, it needs to be vibrated. So if there's poor vibration, then you get honeycombing. In addition, uh, if you have gaps in your formwork, this might lead to this issue. Another defect that is common is efflorescence, and this is where you have this white uh, surface developing on the surface of your um, concrete member. 
and you can see it in the image in front of you. Now usually why this happens is because there's deposits of salts that are already present in the concrete mix. Um, these salts, they sort of move upwards towards the surface and the way they move upwards is through the vapor. So when the water vapor is evaporating, um, as it moves through the concrete member, it carries with it the salts and eventually these salts would be dislodged on the surface and that's why you see that white surface uh, being created on concrete. Now that we've talked about the defects, uh, defect forms, let's uh, see how these defects are commonly classified. So there's a classification system that's adopted for defects and the classification system is based on uh, this structure that you see in front of you. Um, defects can be classified uh, in terms of whether the form of the defect is created due to a physical cause or a chemical cause or a structural mechanical cause or a construction cause. So a physical cause is, for instance, weathering. Uh, a chemical cause is uh, an alkali silica reaction, for instance. A structural cause is when you overload your structure and hence results in a defect in the structure if it can't uh, withstand the loads that are imposed on it. And then finally, construction defect is, let's say for example, when you don't vibrate your concrete mix after you pour it um, and honeycombing results. So I do hope that this video helps clarify some of the defects that are very common in concrete. In the next videos we'll be having a look at the classification system and what it, each of the elements in the classification system represents.